What is the legacy of Rabbi Shlomo Karlbach? Welcome to Jewish Music Toronto. I am Ellie. Remember that all of our lesson and sing-along videos are closed captioned, so if you want to follow along, all you have to do is click the CC button at the bottom of the YouTube player. We've learned about the life of Rabbi Shlomo Karlbach from his childhood years when his family found themselves moving throughout Europe and finally to New York, into his teens and twenties, his smicha, and studies in Hebrew and English. From there, we began Karlbach Kabbalah Shabbat month and learned about his late 20s and 30s during his time at JTS through to his rise as the singing rabbi through festivals, concerts, and his growing recording career. We also learned about the start of his career in the world of Kiruv, that's the bringing closer of Jews who have either strayed from or were unaffiliated with Judaism, and the beginning of his world travels. Last week, we learned about his marriage to Ni'ila Glick, the birth of his daughters, and the family's move from New York to Toronto, followed by his divorce a few years later. We learned about the establishment of Moshev Mevo Modi'im, his involvement with Toronto Jewish youth groups in the 80s, and about a special tape produced for the Jews of Soviet Russia. Finally, we learned about his final years and his passing in 1994. So, where does that leave us today? 20 plus years after his passing, we still benefit from his music and teachings of respect and love for one another. We see his music passed on and expanded through the works of his daughter Neshama and the likes of Shlomo Katz. Katz himself has released albums with classic Karl Bach melodies updated and performed by his band and, most recently, an album he says consists of never before released Karl Bach songs. The Karlbach Moshev Mevomodi'im still remains, and you can actually visit and take a tour through the Moshev yourself. Similarly, you can visit the Karlbach Shul in New York, which is still up and running today, as well as other ones in Israel, or one of hundreds of Karlbach Kabbalat Shabbat services held around the world almost every single week. In fact, the communities that fervently follow his teachings celebrate his life and legacy each year, with honorary concerts and events on his yurt site. That's the anniversary of his passing. Links below, of course. There are few places around the world where you'll find Jews that you won't find Karlbach in some small form. His memory is well with us to this day. Which leads me to a part of Rabbi Karlbach's past and legacy that I've had difficulty with. Specifically, I've struggled with how to discuss it and whether to discuss it at all or not. So here's what I've come up with, and it, I know it probably won't be sufficient, but it's what I've got for now. And I'm going to be reading off of my prompter but more than usual. The fact is that a few years after his passing, allegations about sexual misconduct and downright illegal sexual conduct were leveled against Rabbi Karlbach in an article in a Jewish feminist magazine called Lilith. Since that time, more accusations have come out, many uh, in comments on that article after it was released in digital format. With these allegations, it leaves parts of his legacy in a limbo state, there's no doubt that he did a lot of good for Jews the world over, and his music is a major part of that. But for victims of sexual misconduct, harassment, assault, etc., it's hard to believe that the legacy they see is anything but what they've experienced. And so I've saved this till now because of both the struggle for proper presentation, but also because this is where it falls in the timeline of events. The, the allegations only publicly surfaced after his passing. He, he can either be taken to trial or charged for that matter, nor could he defend himself. So his legacy, I suppose, is that of a man who reached many in a positive way, but quite possibly had an unfortunate dark side that, if the allegations are true, had the opposite effect. Like I said, it's probably not a sufficient presentation for one side or the other. I don't believe it's really my place to take either side of this kind of topic, just to present the information as it stands. But I also felt like I couldn't go without including it, as it would mean that I would have to feign some kind of ignorance, like the information somehow didn't come up as I prepared these episodes. So here's what I think I'll do. If I have the opportunity to have Neshama on in a future episode, 
and she chooses to share something on the subject, we'll talk about it. If not, not. That's her right. I'm going to take a quick break and then we'll go into our final song for Kabbalat Shabbat month. We're back! This week's song is Psalm 29, Mizmor le David. One of the Davidic songs, it actually begins Mizmor le David, a psalm of David, and goes on from there. It is not the only one to do so, by the way. It specifically praises the power and omnipotence of God, going so far as to use the name of Hashem 18 times. Hey, look at that. Chai. Let's jump into the lyrics, and remember that if you want me to go through the complete lyrics and translations of longer songs in the lesson videos, let me know. If I get enough responses, I will make that change. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that you like things the way they are, which is also great. It goes, Mizmor le David, Havu la Doshem b'nei Elim, a psalm of David, render to Hashem, sons of the powerful. According to the footnotes in the complete art scroll Sidur, Rashi took the powerful to mean the forefathers, Avram, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. Havu la Doshem, Kavod va'oz, render to Hashem, honor and might. Havu la Doshem, Kavod Shemo, Hishtachavu la Doshem, Bahadrat Kodesh. Render to Hashem honor worthy of His name, bow before Hashem in His majestically holy place. Kol Adoshem al Hamayim Kel Hakavod Hirim. The voice of Hashem is upon the waters, the God of glory thunders. Adoshem al Mayim Rabim. Hashem is upon the expanse of waters. Kol Adoshem Bakoach, Kol Adoshem Behadar. The voice of Hashem is in power, the voice of Hashem is in majesty. And at this point, I think you get the idea. I'll have a complete translation for you in the description below later on. The melody goes... Mizmor le David, Havul Adoshem Neilim, Havul Adoshem, Kavod Vahozay, Havul Adoshem Kevot Shemoish, Havul Adoshem Behad Kodesh, Kohol Adoshem Al Hamayim, Mehel Kavot. Hirim Adoshem Al Mahim Rabim Kol Adoshem Bako Achayay Kol Adoshem Behadal Kol Adoshem Shover Arazim Vaishaber Adoshem Et Arze Halvanon Vayarki Dem ke mo egel levanon ve sirion ke mo ben remi mai ai ai kol adoshem chotz ev lavotesh kol adoshem yachil midbar yachil adoshem midbar kodesh kol Kol Adoshem Yichol Yalot Vayech Esof Yeharot Uvecholo Kulo Merkavod Ay 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 Adoshem Namabu Yashava Yeshev Adoshem Melech Leolam Adoshem Oz Le'amoy Adoshem yevarech et amo v'shalom Ayn, 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 ayn Ayn, 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 ayn Ayn, 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 ayn Ayn, 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 that's it for this week's lesson. Be sure to come back later in the week for our sing-along to Mizmor le David. We might just have something special waiting for you. As always, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash jewishmusictoronto and on Tumblr at jewishmusicdatabase.tumblr.com. Thanks for watching and bye for now.